following birth, newborns are protected from infection by immunity transmitted to them by their mothers. Over the next few months, their immune systems develop and begin to assume responsibility for fighting infections. Sometimes, babies don't have the ability to fight off routine infections on their own, and this could be a sign of severe combined immunodeficiency, known as SCID. SCID, or severe combined immune deficiency, is actually a group of diseases that all have in common the complete absence of immunity. So babies with SCID are, are normal at birth, and they're really healthy until they sort of start getting out into the world at three, four months of age, and they start encountering the germs that we all live in, and lacking an immune system, they develop overwhelming infections. And so typically, babies with SCID aren't diagnosed until they're four to six months of age, at which point they may be very sick. Diagnosed with SCID at five months old, Loden Kloppenberg came from Colorado to Children's Hospital Los Angeles to undergo a peripheral stem cell transplant in November of 2003. His donor was his mother. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know how we were gonna get through it, um, if we were gonna still be a family uh, after the treatment and everything, and if our son was gonna survive. Um, it was just uh, like being in a dark hole and, and not knowing our way out. Each bone marrow transplant is a life and death situation, a tense drama for the patient and the family as well as the care providers. So it's now two years since Loden's transplant, and as you can see, he's basically a normal-looking child. We think his immune system has been completely restored, and we think his prognosis is great, that he should have a normal life expectancy free of infections other than the normal things that other kids would get. What we are looking at today is his overall development uh, three years after his transplant. So I look at uh, overall um, cognitive functioning, language development, fine and gross motor, thank you, and see how he's doing because I was able to s evaluate him before transplant and every year afterwards. Thank you, honey. And Loden is doing great. He is talking up a storm, right, Loden? Yeah. Yep. And he is playing his language development, his thought processes. He's doing amazing. I'm really proud of you. Are you proud of you? Yeah. Say thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good job. You would never know that he's been through a, a stem cell transplant um, and been in a hospital for eight months um, under isolations. Um, it is just absolutely a miracle. The science of bone marrow transplant is still evolving. While providing this potentially life-saving medical care, ongoing research is essential. Every child with SCID that comes in here has some unique features that, that teach us new things. It might be how, how they were diagnosed, what's causing their skid, how they respond to the treatment. And so every child that comes here for a transplant is entered into a research study to try and capture this information to make us treat the next child better. So we take the things that we've learned from patients, whether they be blood tests or x-rays um, or what they tell us, and we take them back to the laboratory to work on the disease to understand it better and to develop those new treatments.